here. This should be okay. We won't have uh, too much interference from my bad guys or our own team. Okay, so welcome to the squad training. We're uh, <coughs> we're gonna go over a bunch of different things here uh, to help you guys uh, basically help new players and uh, help yourselves, help veteran players. Basically, make squad leading easier for yourself. Uh, okay. What? The first thing I will do, and the most important thing for squad leaders, is the uh, caps lock map. So if everybody presses your caps lock key, you'll be able to see your caps lock map. Now, you can you can zoom in on this, or whatever. It says just zoom in on our squad using your mouse scrolling. Now, with this mouse scroll, you can fucking, or with this caps lock map, you can see every individual squad number. So. If you left click on my name, it highlights me, the one. If you left click on everybody else's name, it highlights them with white. No way, man. This is useful if you want to see who's doing what. And then even if you click on them on the map, you can just go around, click no around. You can you can click on everybody's name, and you can see, uh, you know, how you can look at this caps lock map. And as people join, you can do a radio check with them. Well, you should always do a radio check with them. So let's say um, this is the start of the round. You guys have all just joined my squad. You're all new players. I've never seen your names before. You'll just start going down the list. You'll be like, Big Boss, Matt, this is Fuzz Ed Radio Chick. And Big Boss would reply something. Say, yep, I'm here. Yep. And then uh, Nimble Jack, this is Fuzz Ed Radio Chick. Yeah. Nephrimus, this is Fuzz Ed Radio Check. Do you copy? I'm here. Secular, this is Fuzz Ed Radio Check. Uh, copy that. And Noir, Columbia, this is Fuzz Ed Radio Check. The Congo is Radio Check. The next thing to do is tell them where you're spawning. Which usually, if they're new guys, you haven't played with them before, just always spawn at the back okay. base, guys. Cause, and just hang out for a second at the back base. Because you you got to go over some basic things with your men, or you're just going to get extremely frustrated when, you know, everybody's fucking running around like crazies. So, one of the things uh, I do is if you got everybody spawning on main base, and then let's say fucking, you know, newbie make noob spawn some around, then immediately you can see them on the list there. You highlight uh, whoever got, you highlight whoever spawned, like way out Nowhere, and you go, you know, McNoobster, why did you spawn there? And if he just goes, oh shit, sorry man, I, you know, I forgot, then that's cool, you know, and then just tell him to make his way on foot back to main base and join. But if he doesn't respond, or if he's like, oh, I'm just going to grab this sniper kit, and, uh, oh, I'm just going to, you know, blah, 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 then the best thing to do is, is to just kick him from the squad. If he wants to play with you again, he'll come back, you know, otherwise... He, he isn't helping you, because all he's doing is busting up the squad cohesion, and also, he's, the thing about uh, being a squad leader is they have to follow your orders. If they don't follow your orders, you know, in like the real army, you fucking just give them like punishment, you know, like, you know, whatever. You fucking gotta do 100 push-ups, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. In BFT, you can't do anything like that, so what you gotta do, the only form of punishment you can do is kick him from the squad. And it's not like, don't think, don't think of uh, kicking him from the squad as like, oh, we hate you, we don't want you in the squad, blah, blah, blah. Think of it just as a form of punishment. And just, don't be afraid to kick people from the squad, it's not a big deal. If they aren't following your order, whatever, it's not a big deal to kick them from the squad, because they can always come back. It's not, it's not a huge deal. And then if they come back, just be like, welcome back to the squad. You know, continue following orders. It's a, it's a way of uh, discipline, basically. And it, wor it works pretty well in Battlefield 2. I do Rifleman, fucking okay, Medic, and uh, two Rifleman, two Medic, and uh, heavy eight, or Light 8. And then from there, I can get specialized kits if I need it. I like to keep um, the same guy running the his same thing. Because I find if you have a guy running the same uh, kit, throughout the entire round, he'll learn more about that, he'll learn a lot more about that kit than if he's constantly, like, switching up. But you can run differently, it's not, it's, it's not like it's whatever, you know, it's just how, especially a new player, they find they, they
they they hop around a lot. They they hop around classes. And in this one, it's not so much like, oh, this gun's better. I'm getting used to this gun. They're all the same gun, you know. It's just different roles. And I find the key two roles in a squad. If you don't have these roles, you're fucked. Is the rifleman, the medic, and to a lesser extent, an AT guy. But you know, you can actually. You, what I like to do, I assign people their roles, and I tell them, please be that role the entire. And I tell them, if you have a problem with that role, speak up right now, and I'll switch out your role. And you don't have to play that, you can play something different. And usually, uh, usually they'll speak up, and then I can change it, swap, swap them out with somebody else. So, Noir, you're a uh, rifleman right now. Uh, can you throw out your ammo? Get ammo, here! There you go. Okay, so throw all three bags in, in the same spot that you throw. Thanks, Cam. Ammo, here! Get ammo here! Okay, perfect. Now stand next to the bags. Not on top of them, but next to them. Off the way, PC. Now press 6 to get your bags back. Or whatever. There you go. Now once all three of your bags are back, you, you, go go back. you don't have to throw any more bags. Now road. this is how you resupply, Noir. Always, when you throw any ammo bags, always, always, always throw them in, the, in a low spot, like we are now, somewhere protected. And uh, all three of them in the same place, and always get your ammo bags back. Every time you need ammo, that's this is how you do it. It's kind of cheap that you can get your ammo bags back from ammo bags, but otherwise the rifleman okay. is not worth anything. You know, if the rifleman couldn't get his ammo back, then he's you know he's not really worth half in the squad because he's always running out. So, anyways, uh, that's how you do a rifle, and how you tra how do you train them to do that? is you stop in the back base, whoever you've assigned as a rifleman, just take a minute, you know? Just take one minute, just be like, all right guys, listen up, I gotta, I gotta show the rifleman how to use the ammo bag. And just do a quick, just do that, it only takes 30 seconds or less, as long as the guy's not totally retarded, like ammo bag. Because a lot of times you'll see guys in the middle of combat, let's say there's tanks rolling in or something, your AT guys need ammo, or you need grenades, They'll start going like, uh, um, like, drop that ammo, they'll be like, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, guys, I got it, I got, it. I got the ammo. Like, so many times they'll do that. They'll just run around, and it won't be anywhere, anywhere. You'll totally get fucked over by that, you know. And then the AT guy's like sitting here, collecting. it's like he's on an Easter egg hunt. He's like, okay, I got a bit of ammo out of this, now I come over here, ammo. you know, I get a bit of ammo out of here. <laughs> ammo here. It don't it don't help basically. Get ammo. But yeah, anyways, here. the three bags in the same and so, somewhere in a protected area, you know, like where you're not sniper. Where if you're pr prone to get ammo, you're not like completely exposed to the world. Okay, so that's how you get the rifle. Okay. 